above the bay, a parachute is over their heads. Marissa Tamari and her daughter, Anna O'Connor, are parasailing. Not in the Caribbean or the Florida Keys. This is Annapolis. I was afraid that I was going to be afraid once they started taking off. But once you're up there, it's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful to look over the Bay Bridge. And see the sailboats from up high. They live in Kensington, Maryland, and they booked an overnight stay so Anna could eat crabs for the first time. Turns out the crustaceans have some competition. It was really better than the crabs, frankly. <laughs> it was a lot more peaceful up there. Like, it's not really that, like, there isn't, like, turbulence, really, or anything, or at least there isn't that much of it uh, when you're actually up there. Yeah. And I, I was worried about my glasses when I was up there, when, when, before I came up, but honestly, that wasn't really that bad. I went up with general manager of Z Flight Water Sports, Audra Emrick. Oh, it is so peaceful. Look it at is. this. Try it in Annapolis and let's see. And it has just taken off like a wildfire. They're like, told it's the first time in a few decades for a company to parasail near the Bay Bridge. The business just started taking flights in June after relocating from Marathon, Florida to be closer to family. You do think of this being like in the islands or in Florida, the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. Why did you want this beautiful view of the Chesapeake? Well, it's something different. You know, if you don't have a boat, um, you know, up here you're not really on the water or don't have the means or the connection to that. This gives everybody the opportunity to be on the Chesapeake Bay. And the business has to be properly inspected. We have to get, you know, signed up with the FAA to be able to fly. Um, we have Coast Guard inspections. You know, you're on a drug test consortium. It's really regulated. The boat is built for parasailing. This is a, a, a winch right here. This is in the bottom of the boat, okay? And it, that's where all the spuel of the line go. Captain Howard Baldwin brings seven years of parasailing experience to the bay. Hey, you're just taking, doing a 360 degree turn all the time with your head. You're checking the chute, making sure everyone's flying. You want to have a level chute when you're flying. You're checking out for boats. You're checking out for crab pots. And as a passenger, you're just taking it in from as high as 800 feet. They can work with different wind speeds. If there's not a lot of wind, you will use a bigger parachute. And obviously the boat works harder because it's going to be pulling you along. Come to think of it, this may be the best way to get across the Bay Bridge during summer peak hours. You can parasail from Thursday through Sunday. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.